Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform a DUNS test as a postdoc analysis to Kruskal Wallace test. Um, the example I'll be using uh, I'm going to be storing as my data, which is actually from a CSV file stored in my computer, which uses a semicolon as a separator and has some missing values, so I added this to account for that. Pressing Ctrl Enter will uh, load the data into the console and create the data. Um, to show you the data very quickly, it only has two variables, the location and the motivation. And let's perform the DUNS test. The cross call test in itself, there's a separate video for that, uh, had these results. As you can see, it had a chi-square value and the p-value was significant. Now in order to run the DUNS test, uh, you need to install the package done.test. I already installed it, so I'm not going to be running this command, but you also then need to load it in using library. So I will be doing that. You also then need the package fsa. I already installed this, so I'm not going to be running that. And I do need to load it in, so library fsa. And then finally, the done test itself. Choose the uh, ordinal or scale variable, then the variable that has the factors and then a uh, method to be used as a uh, correction for multiple testing. I'm using the Bonferroni method. Hit Ctrl Enter and the results will show up in the console. It compares the first and the second category which was Demon versus Haarlem. It shows then the Z value, the unadjusted P value and the adjusted P value according to the method chosen, in this case Bonferroni. It also shows the first versus the third category and the second versus the third one. I only had three categories, so there are only three here. If you had more categories, it simply shows all of them. In this case, they're all below 0.05, uh, except for the last one. So Demon seems to be significant, different from the other locations, and Haarlem and Rotterdam are not. 